What do you know about x-rays? We all know they are used to take pictures of your bones or to see the contents of your bag at the airport. But have you ever imagined that a very powerful source of x-rays could also help solve industrial problems and could help speed up your innovation process? Well, yes it can, and the ESRF does it. A wide range of techniques is open to industry at the ESRF. Dr. Sakura Pascarelli, Deputy Head of the Electronic Structure and Magnetism Group, will give us an insight into extended X-ray absorption fine structure, also called XAFs. The main characteristics of X-ray absorption spectroscopy are its element selectivity and its sensitivity to the local structure. Therefore, uh, this is a very powerful tool, for example, to probe the local structure in disordered matter, or also to look at the local environment of an atomic impurity in a matrix of different atomic species, and in general, to study systems where the local properties differ from the average properties. And concerning industrial applications, uh, X-ray absorption spectroscopy has been uh, largely used in the area of catalysis, for example, uh, to study the coordination environment of uh, the active metal site and its interaction with the matrix, but also in material science to look at a number of uh, systems, for example, alloys or ceramics or amorphous glasses, and also to follow processes such as corrosion or diffusion. One of the advantages of uh, using a high brilliance source like the ESRF is that uh, we can look at very dilute systems down to the ppm and also we can look at very small samples because the beam sizes at the ESRF can go down to about 50 nanometers so we can look at samples in constrained environments. We can also follow very fast dynamical processes down to the millisecond in single shot mode and also the high energy of the electron beam at the ESRF allows to uh, produce very high energy x-rays and therefore we can use complex and absorbing sample environments. And on most beam lines at the SRF that provide EXAFs, you can also have access to other uh, synchronous in situ characterization uh, techniques such as infrared spectroscopy or UV visible spectroscopy. X-ray absorption spectroscopy deals with the measurement of the absorption coefficient mu as a function of photon energy. Mu is a decreasing function of energy except for sudden jumps, the so-called absorption edges, which occur at specific values of the photon energy when the photon has sufficient energy to excite a core electron from an atom in the sample, with the creation of a photoelectron. EXAFS stands for Extended X-ray Absorption Fine Structure and it refers to the oscillatory behavior of the absorption coefficient above an absorption edge. The origin of these oscillations is of quantum mechanical nature, and in fact, one has to consider the photoelectron as a spherical wave which propagates away from the absorbing atom and eventually interacts with the electronic potentials of the neighbor atoms, and part of this wave is backscattered towards the origin. Therefore, you have an interference phenomena between the outgoing wave and the backscattered wavelets. And this interference gives rise to a modulation of the absorption probability. Now, one can isolate this uh, signal, the EXAF signal, which contains the information on the local structure. And in particular, the frequencies in this signal are directly proportional to the bond distances between the absorber atom and its neighbors. One can also look at the structure near the edge through the so-called XANES signal. XANES stands for X-ray Absorption Near Edge Spectroscopy and obtain information on the valence or the speciation of the absorber as well as its local geometry. I will now show you two examples of applications both in the field of catalysis. The first one deals with oxygen storage capacity, which is an important factor for uh, automotive three-way catalysts in order to efficiently remove harmful compounds such as hydrocarbons, CO and NO, from the exhaust gases. 
In this example, cerium and zirconium K-edge exafs has been measured in order to correlate the local structure to the oxygen storage capacity. Three samples were prepared using different methods and were analyzed, and the exaf signals were very different, in particular around the second shell, which probes directly the cerium and zirconium atomic distribution. And the results of this work show that the oxygen storage capacity increases uh, with the homogeneity of the distribution of cerium and zirconium. In the second example, we will address the problem of particle sintering. One of the major goals in automotive catalyst research is to avoid the problem of nanoparticle sintering, which is the increase in size of these very small metal particles as they are exposed to the high temperatures in a catalytic converter. In this work, the Toyota team came to the ESRF and carried out experiments on beamline ID24, and they uh, were able to follow the evolution in time of the size of these nanoparticles in situ and in real working conditions. They did this by measuring the platinum L3 Xanes signal, and this signal has a white line which changes height when the platinum goes from the reduced state to the oxidized state. And this change in height, delta J, is very large when the particles are small and is very small when the particles are large. So by following the evolution of delta J as a function of time, they had a diagnostics tool that allowed them to optimize and design a support which actually favors redispersion of these particles contrary to uh, sintering. And this was considered by them a major achievement in the research for more efficient automotive catalysts. In very general terms, we can say that EXAFS is a technique that can address difficult samples, that is, samples that have a large topological or chemical disorder, and which are often difficult or impossible to characterize using other techniques. If you're interested to know more, or to find out how the ESRF can help your business, please contact Dr. Edward Mitchell, our Business Development Manager, or visit our website, 